you didn't have to worry about Bobby Allison would say on TV. He would come tell you. <laughs> Or who's batter? The dudes back in the day with NASCAR who'd settle the differences on the track or in the pits, or the young guys today who have to do it all over the radio and TV to get each other bumping and banging in the car. And one guy that can help us with that is Texas Terry Labonte. Welcome, Texas Terry Labonte. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be so here. So you, you saw both sides of it. You came up as a young guy back in the day when the, the older guys were boxing in turn three. And now you see these younger guys, I know you're retired, the younger guys who are griping at each other over the TVs, over radios, and bumping in the cars. Who was better, the old guys or the younger guys? Uh, I think uh, I think the other guys uh, were a little bit better, the, uh, the older guys. Uh, when I first started, All right. I can tell you, you didn't have to worry about Bobby Allison would say on TV. <laughs> he would come tell you. <laughs> and... Uh, <laughs> Uh, some of those guys, Cale Yarbrough, Bobby Allison, uh, David Pearson, uh, you didn't have to wonder what they were thinking. You know, and don't and, even worry about Curtis Turner. I mean, those kind yeah, of guys. I didn't, you know. I didn't race against those guys. Yeah. But, but, you know, of course, today you, you, you can't do that because NASCAR doesn't, doesn't allow that. But it used to, things, it was a little bit easier when people could settle things on their own, you know. But when was it that Tony Stewart actually asked the NASCAR officials, how much will my fine be so I can go punch this guy in the face? It was <laughs> I mean, so I guess you can still do it if you want. Yeah, but you it, it, you shouldn't ask before you do it. That's right. <laughs> no, you no, you shouldn't because that takes the that takes the whole passion it's, out of it. It makes it premeditated or something. It, it, I don't know. It does. <laughs> the legal term would be premeditated. Yeah. But for, forget about all the scrapping and everything. How does it make you feel when you see a guy coming up today? who is less talented than you, less talented than a lot of guys you know, getting a big old paycheck, and you just got to see this knucklehead on TV every week and go, man, I'll give you credit for getting the deal, but you suck. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's a couple of them out there probably like that, but uh, yeah, there uh, are. Yeah, I've got a lot of respect for those guys. It, it's, it's hard, and you can, it's easy to criticize somebody when they're not doing well, but you know, it's, it's really a team effort, and everybody works together, and most of the time, it's not just one person that makes a difference. Well, on well the but scenario. the guy, well, I'm just one. But the guy, not so much a talent, talent thing, but it's selling. It's the whole marketing thing. It's shaking hands, doing stuff for your sponsors. Some guys take the money, but don't appreciate the fans. True, and that's. I think that you see that more today uh, than in the past because a lot of the young guys today don't really realize where the sport came from. You know, they just all came in and they think everybody got, has an airplane and a bus, and and it didn't used to be that way. You know, I mean, we used to have to drive to all the races in a van with a crew and things like that and it was uh, a, lot, a lot different yep. I can remember going to some races when we didn't have 20,000 fans there and uh, it's just changed so much over the years and I think a lot of the young guys don't really understand you know where the sport used to be and, and where mm -hmm. it came from Terry Labonte we talked a little bit you said that it is a team sport there's a whole lot of things that have to happen right for somebody to pull into victory circle but after 20 years and a guy hasn't won, chances are he's not going to, unless a whole lot of dominoes fall. Yeah. Why should that guy still get the contracts and some of the people who win all the time, get two championships, can't get those contracts? I didn't want one. So if you if, if you point that towards me, I didn't want one. <laughs> no, but, no, no, uh, no. I'm just talking, okay. using you as an okay. example. You okay. were ready to walk away. Yeah. Uh, if you've been in the sport for 20 years and had never won a race, i got to give you credit. You've done something right to stay here that long. I mean, that's pretty amazing because uh, it's a tough sport. And uh, at some point along the time there, you're going to have to produce and you're going to have to really make some people happy or, or you're going to be on the outside looking in. That is your former NASCAR champion, Texas Terry Labonte, coming in here and rolling it out there for the Freak Nation. Terry, thank you for coming in, my friend. My pleasure. And you heard what he said, the old dudes are better than the young dudes now. <laughs> but would you please welcome, for the first time on the TV show, yep. Bobby Bonnie. What's up there, Bobby? Not much. How you guys doing? We got the official applause. You can't hear it, but it is going on right yeah. now. Yeah. Well, so. hold on. Let's wait about two minutes for it to settle down, right? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. It's a standing wow. ovation. Yeah, the yeah. Dog. Bobby, we're part of this Mac Tools tool fair going on here in Nashville, Tennessee. And you walk around and you see all this Mac Tools craziness. You've been with some pretty big time and dedicated sponsors, Interstate back in the day, now Mac Tools. And yeah. now you're with Richard Petty and you got Cheerios on board. 
is it do you just change hats and just get used to it it's hard yeah it, it, it really is interstate batteries I've been with them for 11 years and uh, you know I've been with Mac tools for probably on actually probably longer than that because I had them on my bush car before that but um, you know as far as you know interstate batteries everybody sees that interstate battery car green car and associates me with it so it's it's hard to change that hat I mean that's just gonna be hard signing 43 <laughs> is gonna be harder yeah. you know than because that 18 is just is it still comes up it's like the new year 06 it's hard to hard to do 06 you know from 05 once you get used to it but but I think once we uh, once we uh, get going throughout the season, I know that'll change. It'll be all right. But it's important that that 43 gets back up to the front of the line because I miss seeing it. When I grew up and started getting involved in racing and so forth, there was always 43 at the front of the line. You need to get that 43 back up there, and I'm sure there are a lot of people who feel the same way. Well, we're going to work real hard at it. Uh, I think there's a lot of dedication at the shop, uh, a lot of good people there, a lot of uh, uh, hard work's going to take place, and uh, you know we're we're confident that we're going to be able to do that. Uh, we know that it's not going to be easy, but you know we have the confidence that we can do it. General Tire delivers. And we continue our conversation with Bobby Labonte, former Winston Cup champion, wants to get back in there. You heard Bobby talking about some things he's going to do or you're going to do with the Petty Enterprises. But what tells me as a fan, what can you tell me as a fan, really why? Why is Petty Enterprises going to get back? They're, they're putting a new guy in the seat. That's not going to just put them back in contention for a championship. What specifically can you tell me why Petty Enterprises is going to be in contention again? You're exactly right. I'm not going to make the difference. Uh, but the combination and the chemistry between hopefully that we look forward to is between Robbie, Loomis, myself, Todd Parrott, and that those us three to start with is hopefully to bring the chemistry right, you know, for everybody else to get everybody else's enthusiasm up, confidence up, and, you know, so that when we go out there and run a top 10, you know, you know let's just start off with a top 15. Okay, that's a start. Then to get that top ten, then that top five, and then a win, you know, we can we can build that from there. But no, it's not just me. It's not just Robbie. It's not just Todd. You got to have a combination. But you are three guys who expect to win. Exactly. You don't expect. You're not going to be satisfied with a top fifteen. You expect to compete at the front of the line. One of us said we want to win. One of us said we will win, and one of us said. We have to win, yeah, right. and when you know, I mean, and I mean that's Got a passion. yeah. Oh Which yeah, I one mean, were you? exactly. I want to win, uh, okay. yeah, <laughs> and I must win. I mean, all of it. You know, I think we all said the same thing. So what? What you? What you think about? And that that's not going to guarantee any win at all. Mm -hmm. There's no way that'll ever guarantee that. But I think that the desire is there, the the passion is there, and the fire and determination is there. That still doesn't guarantee anything, but I think when you get out there week in and week out. And you show improvement, and you can see your weaknesses, and show improvement, and see your weaknesses, and get better, and get better. Then you know, hopefully, that day will come. And we just want it to be, you know, sooner than later. But we hope that day will come, and we, we have the people to put it all together. Do you get tired of hearing this young guns business? Because you, like I said, talking to you earlier, you look young, man. And they were talking about these guys, the Casey Canes, the Brian Vickers, those guys. Do you get tired of that saying, "Hey, I'm already a champion, there, partner"? You know, it it, it really doesn't bother you too much because you know I was that way at one time the only thing that really was different between then and now is that the media wasn't what it is today to call it that and they don't and what happens today is everything is so repetitive you could talk about it on Monday and it gets repeated on Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Friday and you know by the time you get the racetrack you're sick and tired of it yep. so I mean there's too much sometimes so the repetitiveness is what really gets you but those guys are what's going to make the sport later on I mean and they're building their foundation now no different Don't than what we did Justin oh Justin yeah 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 and I mean no different than what we did you know if you, I mean Ernie, Ernie Irvin at one time he said 
I walked by him, I guess it was at Charlotte, and he'd already quit racing, and he said, somebody, he said, yep, you were the people that put me out. You were one of you. You were like the one that put me out. You young, you young guys put me out. And I'm like, Ernie, he says, I'm just kidding. But, you know, I mean, you know, so, so you, know, you know, we're in the same boat as, you know, those guys were. And those guys, you know, they're not pushing the young gun thing. It's the media doing it. And because they know. They're going to be one of these days. They're going to be the guy like me, wow. you know. So it's just, it's just a cycle. But the media is what takes it more to a level today than anything else. Because that you, is Bobby Labonte, former young gun. He's kind of a young gun. He's not an old man. He is extremely fit, and I don't know how you do it. That's Easy really cool. there, I like coaches. That. I like that. Bobby Labonte here in the Speed Freaks pits. Looks like the Green 87 is in for an unscheduled pit stop. It looks like an oil leak, Billy. For more on the situation, let's throw it to Mom in the pits. Well, the Green 87 is in trouble, but it has a long history of finishing strong. So what's your game plan? What the 87 driver knows is that Stop Leak has special additives that renews worn seals, reduces engine noise, and oil consumption to protect your engine. Lucas Oil. It works. 